My name is Andrew Pearson, and I am from the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, I first started dancing when I was in sixth grade. I had decided that I no longer wanted to enroll in athletic activities and sports, and my parents wanted me to remain active. I had a friend who was a break dancer, and I thought that dancing would be a fun alternative, so I started taking hip hop classes and did that throughout middle school. And as I decided to pursue it more seriously and, and look, started looking into college programs, I started training in ballet in high school. I always say that my favorite style of dance is contemporary, but it's a, it's a pretty catch-all term. And I think that's why I'm drawn to it, because it doesn't really have any rigorous rules. Um, I always define contemporary as dance that's happening now. So as, as long as you're investigative and pushing boundaries and, and going towards originality as best as we can as artists, I consider that to be contemporary dance. But inside of that, there's so many different aesthetics and so many different viewpoints. And I think that it, the body can communicate things that words just can't. Uh, one definition of love, I'm borrowing this from Brene Brown, love is not something we give or get. It is something that we nurture and grow, a connection that can only be cultivated between two people when it exists within each of them. We can only love others as much as we love ourselves. The thing I love about Brene Brown's definition is that idea of that it's not a give or get, that it's not an ownership necessarily. And I think that I've been trying to make the distinction between love as an emotion and love as this more unifying force. And I believe that love as, the, as a unifying force is kind of omnipresent. It never goes away. We're maybe not always in touch with it. And we maybe don't always recognize it, but it's always there. Love is, as an emotion is more fleeting, as, as all emotions are fleeting. And I think we often confuse that emotional love as, as the unifying love. And when that, beco that becomes confusing when, when we have these intense feelings of emotion for someone, and then those feelings start to go away. And then we start trying to grapple or find those feelings again, instead of just recognizing that the love is already there. It's not something we have to search for. Love is dancing like no one's watching. And with the right combination of luck and effort, discovering those who are dancing to the same song.